part A, can you use the definition to write these exponential equations? So when we write it as a log, the base stays the same as the other base. The answer is inside the logarithm because the exponent, and I'm just going to highlight the exponent there, and I'm going to do that on each of them. So the logarithm solved for Sorry for the interruption. Whoever's bike is locked on the outside of the bike cage, the bike rack, please go to the office. That's whoever's bike is locked to the bike cage on the outside of the bike cage. Please come to the office. So when changing to logarithmic form, the base of the logarithm is the same as the base of your power your exponential function, okay? Then the answer goes inside because, again, logarithms solve for exponents. So the answer to a logarithm is always the exponent in exponential form. So if you remember that part, and you remember that the bases are the same, then the only other number that you have to put only has one other spot, so it makes changing it to logarithmic form easy. And finally, the last one. 4 to the 0 is 1, so we can write log base 4 of 1 is equal to 0. And again, log solve for exponents. So in the equals part of your logarithmic form, that was the exponent of your regular. So I'd like you to look at B, and I want you to think of each one and ask yourself mathematically, does it make sense? Like when you read part I in part B, would you go, yeah, that makes sense to me. Right? In other words, look at part A. When you see 3 cubed is 27, does your brain go, yep? But not so quick when you see log 3 of 27, right? Because we're not used to this yet. So the idea is we need to get used to it. Okay? So one of the things that I sort of do for myself for mental math is because we are more used to exponential form. We're more comfortable with that than logarithmic form because it's new. One of the things when I see a log like this, I imagine a little tiny question mark here. Because log solve for exponent is 3 cubed 27? Yes. So log 3 of 27 is 3. So if I put a little question mark here and I put that negative 2 where that question mark is, does that expression make sense? And if I put a little question mark here, and I think of that 0 going in there, is 4 to the 0, 1? Yes. So then when we get to part B, the base is 7, the exponent is 2, equals 49. Again, I thought of a little tiny question mark right there. Totally makes sense. The second one, the base is 4, the exponent is negative 3. Does that one make sense? Well, remember that a negative exponent would be the same as having that 1 over 4 cubed, and then 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, so that should make sense. And the last one, the base is 10, the exponent is negative 4. And we get 1 over 10,000. Questions for practice on this one? All right.